We have uh, Kent Smitters joining us from Philadelphia this morning. Kent, good to have you back on the program. Before we get to the Nobel Prize winners, let's talk about what's happening over in Europe. I mean, they have a tall order right now. They want to try to prevent what's happening, like a default and maybe cascades and a contagion across Europe. But they want to do this in two to three weeks. Uh, do you think this is possible? It's a very high calling, <laughs> that's for sure, to get so many nations to agree in such a short time. I mean, the U.S. has a hard time agreeing itself, on, uh, and I can't imagine getting so many nations agreeing, especially when it, when it comes to bailing out yet other nations involved. So it, it's, it's going to be a very tough task. Is this the right tack? Basically, we have Nicolas Sarkozy and German Chancellor Angela Merkel telestrating that they want to help recapitalize the banks. The banks are the most important sector to them right now. Yes, uh, it, 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 it makes sense on one dimension, but the problem when we always focus on these short-run problems is that you can really create a, a very dangerous precedent for the long run. And so what they're going to have to do is say, yeah, it's a bailout, but we're not going to keep on doing this. And to be able to credibly say that in a convincing way, that's what's going to be really tricky about this whole business. Yeah, even the ECB is opposing Germany's push to rewrite the euro area's 12-week-old rescue plan. So there seems to be also some divergence in what uh, some people think is a real solution to this a sovereign debt crisis. Yeah, that's, that's right. And the real solution is going to fundamentally come to government spending within their means. And until they're able to do that, we're not going to have a permanent solution that capital markets are really going to believe. And so that's what it comes down to is gover governments having the guts, having the wherewithal to basically tell their voters, we, we got to tighten up. And that's, that's, that's a very difficult thing when politicians have very short uh, horizons. Now, Kent, uh, look at these gains in the markets. I mean, Wall Street rallying the most since the end of August. Do you think investors have realistically priced in the chance, and it looks like a real chance, of Greece going into default here? Yeah, it's a, it's a great question because, you know, the, the market is clearly rallying, and it's not clear exactly what the news is because um, Greece and France and others have been talking about um, some type of rescue of Greece and uh, getting their banks in order for, for a while. And uh, today's announcement has just been more uh, of pretty much the same. And so um, it, it will be a, a very tough uh, uh, calling uh, in the next few weeks to see if, in fact, uh, the, these markets are able to s sustain this. All right, uh, Kent, let's talk about uh, Sims and Sargent because they basically won the Nobel Prize for Economics, how surprisingly, on their, uh, basically their studies on how growth and inflation are affected by policy decisions, which seems pretty relevant in these times considering you have governments in Europe trying to, you know, rescue and, and help out the sovereign debt issue. What have we learned from their theories? What uh, have yeah. they discovered that we can apply into today's situation? Yeah, their, their really big insight was that investors and consumers really are forward-looking and that, in fact, they don't just think about the here and now. They actually uh, account for risk over long periods of time. And that's a key lesson for governments today, to understand that they can't just fix the potholes in the road today. They really need to think about having the, the right road to be on. And that's what the work really showed, and it was, it was a fundamental in altering the way we thought about monetary policy 20 years ago. It now it can, uh, has to be used to think about how do we think about uh, uh, financial reform policy today. All right, Ken, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts.